What's going on YouTube? Today in this video, I'm going to be taking you along with me in screen printing this multicolor gradient design in just one screen. Believe it or not, you can do the same. So let's go. But before we jump right into it, I just want to shout out Omar, the clothing line owner, Solus. This brand is called Solus, Solus, however you want to say it, but it has a great meaning to it. I highly recommend this is this video is like a spotlight the clothing brand spotlight I highly recommend you watch this video from the start to the end because this guy he spent hours into this project he hand tie-dyed all the sleeves this everything's just gonna be fire I highly recommend you tune into the end of the video where he does I have him I have him stand right here and he's gonna explain to you what solace means and the brand meaning and let's get right into it all right, you guys, let's jump right into this. I'm gonna go ahead and grab my screens. In this case, since it is a white shirt, I want less ink to go down. So I'm gonna go ahead and grab 56. And for the black, I'm also gonna grab a 156. Now I'm gonna go ahead and line the transparency up where I want it, add tape, add my screens. And I'll go ahead and expose this like I would a regular screen. Now that it is exposed, I'm just gonna go ahead and rinse both sides from the beginning just to let the water seep into the emulsion. The water is already breaking down the emulsion, which is a good sign. Now that it's already starting to break down, I'm going to go ahead and add pressure and get it all out. take too much pressure and it's all good. I see some spots. Alright y'all, now that the screens are dry, I'm going to go ahead and load it up and get it aligned. What I like to do is grab the transparency paper that I did put it with and I like to put it on the palette and align the screens to that instead of printing the first color and then align it because that reduces any minimal movement when happening on the press. So I like to align it to this so that they're both moving the same amount when pressed. Alright y'all, in order to do this gradient print, you got to lay out each each of the inks that you want to mix onto one of your screens. So in this case, we're going to mix from purple to orange to red. So let's put these aside for a second. I'm bringing this down. So we're going to print like a four inch print. Got a six inch squeezy right here. So what I'm going to do is play this right here. But I'm going to drip, since I went from purple to orange to um, red... I'm gonna lay purple from here to here, lay red from here to here, and then lay 
I mean, lay orange from here to here and then lay red here to here. So that way when I print, everything is printing as a gradient. Check this out. This is what I'm gonna do. Let's just do one line right there. One line right there. And then one line right there. Now you wanna do a couple test prints before you even go to print production because you want this ink to start mixing. And the only way to get it to start mixing is by printing it over and over so that both of the, all three of the inks start to mix. Now in this, you wanna keep the squeegee don't move it at all. Just keep it like this. So I'm just going to Now in this case the colors haven't been blended in properly. But you just want to keep printing. Lay it under the flash. And same spot where the squeegee is, always being printed. As you can see, the colors are slowly starting to blend. But then you just want to keep printing over and over again until you find the right blend. Always in the same spot. As you can see, this is, I don't see as much purple anymore, so I'm gonna try to get more purple in there. What I'm gonna do is just grab purple right here. So you, so you just wanna keep messing around with it. That looks dope. Now I'm gonna send this to a client, see if he likes it, you know, before you can move on to production. One more thing I couldn't, I almost forgot it, is to do the front print. So let's do this black over print. Oh yeah, that's clean. Look at those half tones. That's, I love that. Closer look at this. That, those half tones are pristine. Everything is clean. The ink is blending perfectly. All right, you guys. In order to adjust this, as you can see on this one, there's not that much purple showing. And it's hard to really, just because you're doing it this way, it's free for all. So all prints are going to be different. But in this case, I want to add a little bit more purple because there's a lot more red and orange barely any purple so what i'm gonna do is load this shirt up and i'm just gonna throw more purple on here on the print side so i go and grab my ink and i'm just gonna load it up with a tad bit more purple right there Now what that allows it to do is add more purple. Boom, there's more purple and a print is coming out. Once these blend in, it'll be perfect. All right, you guys, after you do several test prints, once it's, once it's mixing the way that you want it to mix, that's when you want to start printing production. In this case, I like how this is looking. It's looking perfect. Stretch test, everything is good. Those half tones came out clean and everything is good. Now I'm gonna show you exactly the shirts that we're printing on and, and this design goes perfectly with the shirt. If you look behind me, you'll see the sleeves are a different color. And 
That was a fail. But, and, this is what we're printing on. So just imagine that multicolor design right here, and it flows with the sleeves. The sleeves were actually tie-dyed by the customer, Omar. He has a clothing brand, and he did this himself. This is the vision he saw, and I'm, I'm glad to be helping him bring it to life. So let's do just that. Now let's do the print. I had to bring y'all closer for this one because this one's about to go nuts. Oh my god. That looks crazy. That looks crazy. And you just flash it like you normally do. Oh, this is insane. I love the creativity on this one. I love to help him do this. And then you do the half tone. This is gonna. That's crazy. As you can see, I'm too excited for this. It's not even my clothing brand, and I'm excited for my clients because I put a lot of this is my passion. And then, oh, that's crazy. Let me give you guys a close up. So it starts off with the purple, purple in the design. Squeeze to red. That's crazy. There it is, shirts are done. Prints came out clean. Let's go fold it up. But first we gotta do the neck tags. All right, you guys, now we're gonna go ahead and screen print our neck tag. Bring a little bit of tack. Bring the seam all the way up to there. And with this, you just wanna Gently rip it out. And there you have it.
All right, y'all, we just finished wrapping up this print and the multicolor print came out fire. And like I said, the client himself did the tie-dye sleeves. And this is him right here, the owner of Solus. So I'm gonna do a little brand awareness, give him a spotlight, tell you guys what Solus means. And I'll just let him do his thing. Yes, sir. Yeah, so, um, I mean, this uh, this word right here, Solus, is just, uh, it's actually a Latin word, which means uh, alone. And um, basically, I mean, the whole concept of it is just that, you know, I, I believe that, and I know that everyone at some point in their lives, you know, feel, feels alone at some point. And there's there's a thing that comes with that aloneness, which is called loneliness. You know, everyone feels lonely at some points. Everyone, you know, it gets to them a lot. And that's what I think about a lot. It's whereas at, at least around people my age a lot, we feel lonely. And, you know, just like with anything, there's an opposite to it. You know, with feeling lonely, you uh, some people can be sad when they're alone, but other people can be happy and enjoy their solitude. So that's basically what this is. At the end of the day, you know, it's it's that it's that polar opposite of feeling lonely and being content with your solitude. So that's what solace is. Yes, sir. Mm. So, uh, man, there you go. There you have it, man. My man Omar right here just did his thing on this. He took his time on this. You hand tie dyed this, mm -hmm. right? Yes, sir. All right, it took hours, man. You guys should really support him. I'm gonna put a link to his Instagram, link to his description. Link to his website if you want to cop this shirt. Support your local up-and-coming clothing brands. And yeah. Let's get it. Let's get it, bro. <laughs>